this is Luann. Today's theme is zoo. Many children love animals. Their pets, farm animals, and zoo animals. Plan a trip to the zoo with your preschooler. But before the trip, check out some books from the library and talk about some of the animals that you might see and what kind of habitat they live in. You might need to talk about what a habitat is. A habitat is where an animal lives. It provides the animal, animal with food, shelter, water, and space to live. The animals that live in different habitats have special characteristics that help them survive. A fish has gills for breathing underwater. A polar bear has fur to help stay warm in the Arctic. Other habitats include forests, mountains, and oceans. Your own backyard is a habitat. Talk about the animals that they might see in their backyard or the local park. They might see birds, squirrels, and butterflies. What do those animals eat? Where do they live? Do they live in the ground? Do they live in the trees, in the bushes, in the nearby creek? Point out that all of these animals can live together in the same place. Once you get to the zoo, stop and read some of the signs that talk about the animals, what they eat, and where they live. What kind of a habitat did the animal keepers create for them? What does their zoo home look like? If you are fortunate enough to go when they are feeding the animals, have your child try to identify the food that they are eating. What do they offer as enrichment for the animals? What do they have in their exhibit for them to do? Do they have trees for swinging, rocks for climbing, dirt for digging, water for swimming? What kind of shelter do they have? After they get home from their zoo adventure, have them draw a picture of what they saw. As children learn about different habitats, they begin to understand the importance of living and non-living things. They learn about many different habitats and how animals and plants have adapted in order to, to survive where they live. Have fun exploring and learning about the different habitats in our world. Thanks for joining me today.